So the first thing to do is up here, um, I'm just trying to think if we should do it within this. Yeah, we'll do it within this. So if not logged in. So the first thing to do is to check if um, each um, form field exists in our form. So if everything's been correctly submitted and we use the is set function for this. So if is set, we can pull this down and it's going to look a bit better readability. So if is set um, dollar underscore post username and is set dollar underscore post password and is set dollar underscore post um, password again and we go down the list and we just basically input and copy the code uh, for everything so we've got first name and then we've got surname so let's go and bring this up there and bring this up there so we're, we're using this to check if each um, if each uh, field has been submitted so we've got username password password again username password password that's fine so now we um, open up to our block and now what we need to do is check in fact we'll put this all on one line just so it's out of the way okay so now what we need to do is we need to check if they're empty or not so let's come down again so it looks a bit neater so if not empty um, in fact what we'll do before this is we will create um, the variables in themselves because we've already checked we're not going to we're not going to receive an undefined index error um, so now we can set them into their own variables because we know they exist so username equals dollar underscore post username password equals dollar underscore post Ooh. password um, then we obviously have password again and that equals dollar underscore post and the field name is password again then we have a uh, first name and that's equal to dollar underscore post first name and the same with surname so uh, finally at the last one you can probably see now why I didn't include irrelevant data that wouldn't fit the uh, suitability of the tutorial we're not going to go down and create loads of fields otherwise we'd be here for hours typing out things when I'm sure after this you'll be able to work out um, how to add your own fields so we've got the fields that we need um, password again is something we're not going to be inserting into the database that's just going to be for our checks inside here the first thing we want to do is check if all fields have been filled in because all fields are required so let's say if not empty username and not empty password and not empty password again and not empty first name and last but not least not empty surname okay so now we can create a block to see if these are not empty uh, to run if these are not empty I mean but otherwise we need to give a message to our user we need to say please fill or say all fields are required required okay so this is our error um, inside here we can echo okay for now just to see if um, everything exists if this okay does not echo um, and nor does this we oh no well this will we know that we might have an error and we have inputted all data we know that we might have an error with our naming or something like that so always check that if you if you receive an error so let's um, go ahead and click the button register button without typing any data in we get the message all fields are required let's just enter um, one all fields are required so let's fill them all out now three first name Alex surname Garrett and let's click register 
and we've got the message up the top okay now you'll probably notice that um, the uh, like let's say we were to enter our username our password and our first name but we were to exclude our surname and we click register we have this error up here but you've noticed that all the fields have now disappeared because we've resubmitted back to the page we are not keeping these values so what we do is is we take these values here and we input them into our, our um, field and we do this using the value here so if I was to say value of username equals Alex you can see that when we refresh this says Alex so what we can do is what the data that's already submitted we can include within this form so if we open up PHP tags we're writing inline code now we can echo out the username so what will happen is though the page will be submitted this variable here will be set to Alex for example it might be set to Billy it might be set to anything but then we'll come down and even if we get this error we're still going to be putting this value in here so let's do that to all fields uh, not the password fields because uh, we don't want them to remain so for the first name um, we want to open up PHP tags echo first name and for the surname value equals PHP tags echo surname done so now we can return to our page I'm gonna enter Alex I'm gonna put my password in and I'm gonna type in my first name now if we click register you can see that our username and our first name stay um, our surname is obviously blank because we didn't enter it in the first place but our passwords have gone this is just for security reasons you don't want to keep the password in there uh, most websites don't so I don't recommend you do now if we click register we haven't entered the password so all fields are required again we've clicked register our information is staying we enter our information click register and it's okay